from my fried tofu. I'm sorry. You're not <laughs> sorry. You ate like a pig. <laughs> I'll I'll buy you another wait, 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 one. Wait, 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 stop! I'm sorry. I'll buy you steak. It'll be on me. You hear me? The very best. Steak? Oh God! You said the magic word. My tofu. <laughs> Poor Yukiko. <laughs> We can eat instant noodles anytime we want, right? Well, as long as it isn't too fatty. Okay, we've reached the verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying a steak. <laughs> oh, okay. What wouldn't be too fatty? Filet? Ooh, filet sounds nice and expensive. Oh, God. Filet, 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 filet <laughs> Got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. Yeah, that's fine. I got more than you anyway. Yeah, you got that fucking Walmart paycheck. I got demon <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh well, steak is steak. No, it's not. She's she said that with very you malicious intent. From a fillet steak, though. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you. I mean, I'll eat it. I'm still mad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking fatty eating her fried tofu like that. Kind of the I can't help is. it. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. But Mitsuzu Hiragi had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. A so what? person killed them both, then why hmm? target senpai? Uh... Probably to shut her up. Yeah, I think so too. I said it first. Or something about the culprit. <laughs> but the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. But it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Uh-huh. Oh, they updated the menu. Huh? Isn't he that detective? Yeah. Crap, he's coming this way. Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. No way. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? No. Okay. Yo, I'm Adachi. Dojima-san's gopher. Yeah, you're a gopher, all right. Yeah, you're a gopher. I just said that. Are you this busy every day? <laughs> huh? Oh, well, the public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases. But we can't leave it at that. Uh huh. Sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki Senpai in order to silence her? Um, you sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes! 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 <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Stupid rookie. Uh, you got a weird nose. Yeah. Flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. Oh, don't even. See ya. Don't even pull that shtick with us now. You're right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. At least that one is. Ah! My steak's getting cold! <laughs> Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? That's your fault! And yours! And mine. <laughs> you waited for the two to finish eating, and then decided to go into the TV world. TV world. We are TV champions! iPhone world. How come, Ru how come Rusev couldn't be Teddy? <laughs> that would be too good. Wow, this 
really is inside the TV. Oh yeah, you need a pair of glasses now. It's Teddy. But it wasn't a dream. Are you feeling better, Yuki-chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. I uh, have you. Oh, I see. Good boy. <laughs> Don't praise him. Well, this bear's part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Just keep him far yeah. away. I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. Yay, another pair of glasses. Where'd he pull them from? So she can oh, look super so cute. These are whatever <clears throat> they're wearing. Mm -hmm. Teddy? You're right. It's they have rainbows the on, the, on the ears. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them. I've lived here for a long time, so I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. But you don't need them. But don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point. Another great question. <laughs> Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. Oh boy, you have contacts. He just scrapes his eyeballs to make a pair of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Being so mean, you act like you're not interested. We're not. I'm a really dexterous bear. I bet you are. See how smoothly my fingers move. You don't have fingers. They're mittens. Teddy's delicately, delicately moving his what fingers. Are you looking at? <laughs> They're mittens. Ow! <laughs> Damn. Hmm? You dropped something. Oh, another oh, pair. That's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh god, y it's Groucho Marx. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they look great. Do you like that one, Yuki chan? No. I wanna wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. That's mm. Oh no you don't. <laughs> How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Yes, I should have made an. Action. Well, scrape your eyeballs again. Ah, too bad. Here, Chie, your turn. <laughs> Man, all right, Bob. <laughs> Boy, you really love novelty glasses, huh? <laughs> it does look pretty great. <laughs> Yukiko-san? Hello? Hello? There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. <laughs> no, they... Nose for anyway. It's for blending in. <laughs> nice work, huh? Being inconspicuous. when you guys leave me here alone. And I get bored. Oh, I bet. Well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again. I guess. I guess. <laughs> oh, Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I can't. <coughs> oh, God. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> breathe, stupid, breathe. Yeah, she's stupid, all right. She shut. <laughs> You decided to go back for a day. Eveningu. Eveningu. The fourth and the fifth. No, you can count. Yeah. I think I might be able to get the fourth and the fifth off. Really? No. <laughs> really? No. Really? What? You don't believe me? No. It's no. Always Cancel culture. Yeah. Not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. Uh, I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Probably. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip. On our favorite rocket ship. All right. <laughs> All right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? No. Say the top one. 
Okay. You gotta be a nice family guy. But they're not my family. Sure they are. They're your cousin and your uncle man. You'll be going on an outing with the Dojimas during the long holiday. You're, you're going to Walmart. So if I defeat him, will I inherit bad decision making? I mean, you don't have that already. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. Side but dishes are good. I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Hmm. I well, can cook. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? Yay! Box lunches! Uh, so I'm your maid now, I'm yeah. making you lunches? I'm gonna box you, alright. <laughs> You've been selected to pack the family's box, family's box lunches. Oh boy. Let me save real quick just before, just in case anything happens. Okay. Uh, lunch. Nothing, Nothing catches your eye. Well. Gonna finish your man book? Oh yeah, my man book. My lovely man. So manly. You decide to continue the man thing. Spirit of true manhood. You feel like a real man. I'm a man. Now you're a man. A man, man, man. Now you're a man. May 1st. You have the day off from school today. You wonder if someone will show up on the Midnight Channel tonight. You can only wait and see. What are you going to do today? Oh, pee pee. I'm peeing. Oh, hello, it's me, Chie. Do you have time to decide to go go inside the TV today? Yeah, you goes with it. I think it might be good for her to get some experience being in that place. Just give us a call if he wants to go. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, that would be a good idea. You want might check for Marie too. Oh yeah. You can watch. Oh, those, that's like other side stuff. That's not part of the story. TV overlay button. Go outside. Let's see. Go into town. Let's food plane. Flood plan. Let food plan. <laughs> I said it I said it wrong twice in a row. <laughs> Two different ways. Nice. Oh, there she is. Oh, hey, Marie. What are you doing out here? Huh? You're here. Oh. Oh, you're here. I've been it's waiting for you. Here. here, why don't you take me somewhere? Okay. I don't know the area. You know your way around here, right? It seems Marie wants, wants to go to out. Since you have Ame no... Oh, you have... I forgot you have an Aeon persona. So that's hey, good. Hey, Ame knows me. That used to be the lovers. Now it's Aeon. You feel like your relationship with Marie will deepen. Spend a day with Marie? Sure. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I want to go to a lively place. The subway? I want to go to Jewness. I heard about that place. Oh, you want you want to go where the Jews are, huh? Germany. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jewness. Jewness Electronics Department. Look at that big old TV. You were dragged here by by an excited Marie. Yep. Hey. Hey, what happened? What happened just now? Time sale. Everyone was rushing to grab something called sala dressing. Salad dressing. Whatever it is, it must be oh. worth fighting for. I don't know anything's worth fighting for when there's a sale. Hello, Chie. Hey, Viper Coon. What a coincidence. What are you doing here? I thought we were supposed to go inside the TV today. Yeah, we we're supposed to go inside the TV. What are you doing here? Who's this girl? She's so cute. Uh, this is Marie. Huh? Oh, yeah. Would you forget your own name? Yeah. Marie-chan, huh? Ooh, that's a nice name. I'm Chia Satanaga. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. 
I know what this is. It shows a, it shows a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's a TV. Mm. Oh, you can't even look at the TVs too. Yeah, I want one too. Still having to replace our old one. Whatever. I don't want one. I, I don't. But <laughs> maybe can you turn it into star scandals? <laughs> Uh, can you even watch it in that room? I don't think it matters. Why? What? Why the hell not? I mean, I didn't say I even wanted to. Uh huh. Marie seems disappointed. So how do you watch it? You, you explain to Marie how to use a TV, huh? Are you one of those people who doesn't watch TV? She doesn't That's do a lot of things. There isn't one in that room. Really? Wow, you must have super strict parents. Girl, I don't think I could stand in life stand it. Life without kung fu movies. Brr. Brr. Oh, but there's no eclectic loutwits in that room. <laughs> oh yeah, I bet not. I'll tell the nose to install one of those eclectic loutwits. There's nothing to do in there. <laughs> the nose. Hey, wait, Marichan? You don't even have electricity in your room? It's a long story. She was in a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Juness, food court. You came here with Marie and Chie. You came with Marie and Chie. Oh boy. Outs outside. Outside, in the middle of the public, on food. Or on, with food. On, on meat. <laughs> Phew, that was the good stuff. Satisfaction. Uh-huh. I haven't had the steak here in a while. You just had it, like, yesterday. Yeah, we literally just... Marie-Chan, you haven't eaten at all. You too, Viper Coon. I don't eat Walmart food. Yeah, right? You gotta eat if you want to grow up big and strong. Just kidding. <laughs> you eat too fast. You're gonna be fat one day. <laughs> Damn! I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> uh, I'll go get us some drinks. Oolong tea sounds good. Oh boy, I love that pig tea. That pig leaf water. <laughs> There's a lot of people at this Juness place. Why? Don't they have anything else to do? They have TVs. They should be watching them instead of wasting their time here. Right? Mommy, I'm thirsty. I want a soda. Mommy, oh, milkies. I want soda. Uh, <laughs> no, you just had one. You'll have to wait. I wanted it. Wanted. I said no. You'll rot your teeth. Marie watches the mother and son. Hey. Hey, do you, do you think I was ever like that? Probably. You don't remember? Yeah, there's a lot I don't remember. Everything. Marie looks serious. I don't remember anything. I was just walking. I had nowhere to go. And I just ended up in that car. You were kidnapped. Then Margaret told me to stay there. She also gave me the name Marie. It'd be hard to get around without a name. Mm. Uh, you can't remember anything? Nope. I don't need to. Despite her casual words, Marie has a concerned expression. But, I don't, re I don't know why, but this town is familiar to me. You were abducted and then brainwashed. Like By the Igor. Cat. He stuck his nose in your ear. Ugh. I don't know. Nose job that we don't need. Ugh. The only thing I remember, <laughs> or more like no, is that this is mine. Your bag. Is it a gun? Oh. Marie is holding an old bamboo comb in her hand. <clears throat> I had this from the start. This is definitely mine. But, so what? This doesn't help anything. Marie confided in you about her memory. You feel your relationship with Marie has grown deeper. A junk. Rank two. Marie social so has been... two has grown. Mm. You're searching for the truth, right? You should stop. There's no such thing. Everything is true. Nothing is forbidden. How stupid. This conversation's boring. Let's talk about something else. Okay, sit back down and eat your food. Sorry to keep you waiting. Where are our drinks? Yeah, oh. where the hell? Oh, the shop was busy, so I just ordered and came back here. They'll bring it to us when it's ready. Oh, that's, that's convenient. 
Uh, is it me or is the mood a bit heavy around here? You're a bit heavy. Don't worry, Daddy. you two. I ordered it all for us. <laughs> Oolong tea for everyone. Pig leaf for everyone. See ya. After talking with Marie and Chia, you escort Marie back to the Velvet Room. Eveningu. Eveningu. Welcome home. Thanks, child. Fridge. Fridge. Nothing catches your eye. God, this is the this is the most poor excuse for a house I've ever seen. At least there was coffee in the coffee shop. <laughs>